Hello everyone and welcome back to Tree Tuesday. I am naturalist Katie and this week we are discussing the gorgeous sassafras tree, sassafras albidum. So if you want to find yourself a sassafras tree, the best place to look is at its leaves. So sassafras are interesting because they have polymorphic leaves, meaning that there could be multiple different shaped leaves on the same tree. There could be leaves shaped like ovals, like these guys right here, as well as mitten shaped and three lobed leaves. Now these leaves in the fall also come in a variety of colors from purple to orange and to yellow. You can also identify this tree by looking at its awesome dark reddish brown bark. But my favorite way to tell if you've come across a sassafras is to give it a sniff. So if you take one of these leaves and crush it up, it has an amazing smell, kind of like a spicy citrus. Same thing with the bark. If you give the bark a little bit of a scratch, you'll smell that characteristic sassafras smell. So sassafras trees are loved for their many health benefits, including claims of skin care benefits, immunity boost, inflammation reduction, and apparently Native Americans would use this tree as a toothbrush. They would chew on the twigs from the sassafras because of its wonderful flavor, as well as its natural antiseptic properties. Sassafras trees are also used in food. The leaves can be used to thicken gumbo, and the roots of the sassafras tree are the original ingredient in root beer. So the oil from the roots of the sassafras tree is called safroil, and this was originally used as a flavoring to make that delicious root beer we all know and love. And this yummy treat, yummy treat has been sold in confection since the 1840s. But unfortunately, safroil has actually been banned by the FDA as a food additive because of old studies that linked safroil to cancer in rats. But wildlife doesn't seem to be concerned about all of this food controversy as many insects enjoy this as a host plant, including the spice bush and tiger swallowtail butterflies and the big and beautiful Promethea and Imperial moths. So my favorite time of year to admire a sassafras is right now. Come find yourself a beautiful sassafras tree in the fall where if you're lucky, you'll see the yellows, oranges, and purples all on the same tree. And if it's sunny enough, you might even see smell that sassafras scent emanating from the decomposing leaves. Well, I hope you guys had some fun learning all about our gorgeous sassafras trees. And let me know in the comments down below if you've tried the authentic sassafras root beer before and what you think it tastes like. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.